at Welterweight 3 on Fight TV, Sunday, April 29th. On a pay-per-view basis, HD presentation, three-plus hours of the greatest athletes, 185 pounds and under. Ace Perry beat Bostick to capture the Welterweight Championship in the finals of the inaugural tournament. Bostick has had a chip on his shoulder ever since. He's degraded Ace Perry on Twitter. He's knocked the company. Uh, Bostick's had a public meltdown over this. Hasn't gotten over the fact that Perry beat him for the championship. Bostic beat Perry a month ago with a low blow. It'll be a street fight on pay-per-view, though. And it goes. These two will settle a decades-long rivalry that goes back to their teen years in Indiana. But Ace Perry can't look ahead to Bostic. He's got a tough test right now. Some of you fans that may only know Jason Kincaid from Premier Championship Wrestling and Welterweight Wrestling, yeah, that's Jason Kincaid, and apparently his spiritual side, his Zen side, is uh, 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 not really sure how to describe the sides of Jason Kincaid, to be completely honest, but apparently he felt it necessary to grab his head, shave his beard, and get a big old tattoo on his skull. Jay Worth coming. That is Jason McKay, yes. He is uh, from the mountains of West Virginia, uh, former finalist in the Premier Championship Tournament, uh, wrestled uh, Anthony Henry at Welterweight 2 in a show-stealing battle. The fans are still talking about here at Terminus Hall to this day. This is the first time we've seen Jason McKay in this building with this new look. He'll be a part of Welterweight 3. He will be looking like that on Welterweight 3. And uh, more details about that will be released in the coming days if they haven't already at welterweightwrestling.com, facebook.com slash welterweightwrestling, Instagram welterweightwrestling, or welterweightpw on Twitter. He's just past a thousand Twitter followers. Thank you fans for that. As Ace Perry, the one-man boy band. He's got a shy side. He's got a bad boy side. He's got a front man type side. He's got a little bit of everything. As TK gives a different side. Ace Perry got all those personalities rolled into one. And we'll see which one will help him win this match if he doesn't back me. That's a big if. I'm assuming Jason can go get and get rid of all of his talent. No, no, no. It's not a Samson type. Okay. And again, Perry's been struggling. It was Perry and Gory for the welterweight championship welterweight two. Atticus Coger involved on behalf of Gory. Nate Wings tried to even the odds. Went to springboard in with a kick. Missed Atticus. Hit Perry. And that allowed Gory to capitalize and win the title. Perry and Wings have been at odds since then. Perry and Gory have been at odds since then. We talk about Perry and Bostic being at odds since they were teenagers. So really the top of the welterweight scene has been very crowded and very evenly matched. It's hard to believe that all these people who fight each other have a problem getting along, Joe. I hate to tell you this, that's their job. Yeah, and that's okay. I'm just explaining to the people at home the issues that led to this, if you're okay with it. Uh, no, I'm fine. Just, you tend to get a little, oh, why can't we all be friends and respect each other? Well, Ace and Wings were friends for a number of months. Sure, but they're wrestlers, and eventually the, these all stories come to an end, except for the never-ending story, and possibly the never-ending story, too. Although, if the Both first one's gone, for one. if the first one's never-ending, why do you need a sequel? Anyway. Maybe Kincaid could ponder that next time he meditates. Anyway, Jason Kincaid. My point being, to go to circle back to that, I don't think Gory and Bostick have ever had Bostick, except for maybe his wife and Mira. Gory, except for the culmination. I'm not surprised that everybody's out to get them. But we've seen a more aggressive side out of Ace Perry. And Kincaid is sensing that aggressive side, and he wants Perry to keep calm. 
Kincaid loves to take other people's tempers and use it against them. It's a smart psychological tactic. And again, imagine how calm you have to be. You just talked about tempers flaring and people not liking each other. Kincaid's that exception. He's very zen. He's very centered. It's been few and far between I've ever seen this guy get angry. He's got that control of his body, of his mind, of his emotions, where he can well think out every psychological move, every emotion. He doesn't react on impulse. He does things like that. And Kincaid certainly is very much the antithesis of everything you just described, and it's very successful for him. It's, it's doing very well so far. I mean, look at that. Look at the composure. And again, Perry's been easy to frustrate these past few months. Kincaid, I think, realizes it's under the skin of the one-man boy band. Boy right into his trap. I mean, I would love it. Oh, Ace with a cutter! That could have finished it early, but check out the body control of Kincaid to land in his hands. Caught it and popped himself right back up to his feet. That's insane. And then just assumed that that arms behind him stands. Ace Perry's kind of freaked out right now. I mean, to be fair, if you're in a fight with a guy who keeps putting his hands behind his back, it's a little dis dissettling, disconcerting. Oh! And Kincaid with the lightest show I've ever seen in my life. It's I, almost like Kincaid's mocking Perry's temple. I don't think his heart was in there. It was in, and then a little soul. I think that's, again, the difference between Perry acting on emotion and Kincaid coming in with a focused plan. Two very different states of mind, but both will be a part of Welterweight 3 on pay-per-view. Of course, if you're watching it, well, Kincaid celebrated that double stomp in style. I was going to mention if you're watching this matchup on YouTube or any other medium after April 29th, Welterweight Wrestling 1 through 3 is still available on DVD, MP4, and VOD. Where can they find that? That's WelterweightWrestling.com. Very new looking for skin that just got chopped off his chest amongst these fans. It's a band aid to put his chest back together. Cover. On the count of two. Again, Kincaid has had just one speed, one mindset, his entire match of a Perry. Why to snap Kincaid out of it? But Kincaid beat the aggressor as well. didn't really mean to calm down, or at least not for the entire match. Oh, I think Kincaid was trying to get him to skin of Perry further. Perry got the foot up. There, oof. Right to the ridge of the nose. Springboard, Kincaid a step ahead. Perry underneath. Battle counter roll countered. And Perry uses the momentum of Kincaid to hit the German suplex with a thrust kick. That is a staple of Perry's offense. And now with a suicide dive. Yes. Perry thrust kick went right to the throat of Kincaid. Perry can string the combos together. Now the cutter could have ended it, but Kincaid another counter. Not as smooth as the first, but still effective. That elbow right to the temple. Really has precision. Oh. Not sure what Kincaid had said to Perry, but he got a rise out of his fans. Perhaps Kincaid is being thrown a little bit off this game by Perry. And you know, Ace Perry, Shining Wizard now, into the cover. Two count only. Ace Perry made history on pay-per-view. First ever welterweight champion. The last man standing after a field of 16. He successfully defended the title against the likes of Gregory Iron, John Regression. He's in the history books. He was celebrated. He was the centerpiece of the promotion. And all of a sudden, he lost them. He lost the champion to Gory. You know that's going to affect your psyche. Is Ace Perry going to be his old self again until he gets back on top? I, I mean, I think you've already answered the question. Of course not. Once you've lost that, that fixed point that guides you, 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 you have to find something else. There's no way you can go back to being what you were because what you were isn't there anymore. Two count only up the neck breaker. Of course, I am Joe Dombrowski with Jay Ward from Farnsworth, bringing you this welterweight showcase matchup as Kincaid got a near fall on Ace Perry that time. And if Kincaid can pin the former welterweight champion, that plus his victory over Anthony Henry at the welterweight two paper, you certainly got to start looking at Jason Kincaid as a title contender as well. Yeah, absolutely. And 
Ooh, look at this. Of course, it's Nate Wings, who won the seven-way scramble at Welterweight 2. He'll challenge Gory at Welterweight 3 on pay-per-view. And you see pressure put on the uh, upper body, the shoulders, pressure put on the lower body. Okay, he's stretching away from all sides here. Perry's powerless to counter. He's trying to get, there we go. He's gonna try and swing the weight one way or the other so he can tip out of that and release the pressure on all the joints. Perry the pump kick. Okay, the hair quicker this time, no pun intended. Great board, that's a Kincaid staple, but Perry was ready with a thrust kick. I was say he flew right over Perry there. Perry was waiting in the wings, and Kincaid is down. Look at this! Kincaid elevates Perry, who came down hard face first on the ring frame. It looks like Kincaid might be looking to get a count out victory. Yeah, you saw him signal and count, count. No shame in that. Take the win where you can get it. Certainly would do its share to bring Kincaid forward in the rankings. And Perry would be hurt enough to, to be unable to continue here. He got the concussion after that impact. He hit square on the ring frame. Metal meets wood from a very, very high point. Yeah, it looked like, it looked like he came down hard on that. No! Back in, Kincaid immediately on the attack. He rolls him to the center. Barely a count of two that time. I don't even know what this is. Ooh. Let's assume it's unsanitary. Mm. The last thing I want to do to a ring is lick it. So, putting a piece of it in my mouth. No. I don't care how zen I am, I'm not doing it. Not the ring or free or who knows what. He's carrying up and over. Push off. Beautiful, float over into the long blower. Kincaid tries to seek salvation, but gets caught up in the ropes, and Perry comes down. You saw that, uh, oh! These Perry combos, the Swanton. Could this be it? Perry back in many ways? No. I was gonna say, you saw Kincaid hung up in the ropes. You saw Perry coming and tried to cover his head a bit, but you know, it's, it's like trying to, trying to put your hand up when someone's swinging a baseball bat. It's only going to protect oh so much. Perry is looking for a moment of heading into a street fight where he will be challenged by Dylan Bostic. Major future championship implications there as Kincaid uses Perry's momentum to drop him down. Perry set back in the head into the corner. Sunset ball into the corner. And then coast to coast on that drop kick like it was nothing. So seamless, so fluid for a near fall. And keep in mind the resolve of Ace Perry. Not only did Ace Perry win his opening round matchup at Welterweight 1, he survived a seven-way scramble, single elimination style, to win that championship. That must seem like forever ago to Ace Perry at this point. There's a long journey back to the top, potentially, with a lot of pitfalls waiting for him. Who doesn't have a long journey right now? That. Kincaid. Oh! I beg to differ. That was a pretty uh, long journey to the canvas. Into the cutter. The driver, I should say, for an ear fall. And Kincaid just barely able to must up the strength to get the left shoulder up. But you can sense Perry knows the danger of Kincaid, knows that Kincaid has built up a reputation throughout the country. It's these two, three, and four move combos. Perry's trying to fire off the keep Kincaid, but they still, as of yet, are not enough. Well, the games are quite right. You keep doing them, keep hitting them. Don't rest right now. Stay on top of him if you want this win, Ace. Because what you don't want is Kincaid waking up like this? You saw Kincaid slapping himself to try to get himself back in the fight. Did it work? Not this time. Perry DDT and Kincaid's on his feet. Kincaid is blocking out the pain. He's channeling something deep inside him and Perry gets dropped. Out on his feet for a moment, but Perry digging down deep. And they're just trading off kicks. Oh! 
Harry and Kincaid are digging down as deep as one man possibly can because they know the stakes at hand. They know what it will take to beat the other. It is can you top this? An ultimate gut check with Welterweight 3 on pay-per-view just weeks away. We're already up to a five count here right there. Neither man's even made it over to his side, much less up. Momentum is key. Perry knows his matchup. Kincaid as of yet does not. We'll see. Who can get to their feet first? If anybody. Maybe a wash. They haven't made it to their feet. They're up to their, their knees at this point. And still digging down deep. Find whatever they can. but couldn't get it off. Perry takes off the balance of Kincaid. Double stop, no one there. I saw it coming, got out of the way. Oh! Oh, and Perry elevated back in the head of the corner. Just a step out of the way, almost a beal, just throwing him right into the, into the turnbuckle. And it's action like this you'll see on Fight. You'll see on pay-per-view, welterweightwrestling.com, welterweight three. Kincaid stole the show at Welterweight 2. Perry was the hero at Welterweight 1. Who will make Welterweight 3 their night, April 29th? Kincaid looking to make his moment count now, as not from the top rope, but the top of the post. He seems to be perched and balanced. No one there on his double stomp either. Perry Matrix, Connor connects. And Kincaid out of the ring, smart. I'm not sure if it was smarts or, or it was momentum because that's normally how Ace Perry puts his matches away. Kincaid was waiting. Perhaps it was smarts. Top of the post again. Double stomp connects. And he landed all of that. That'll do it. No. Perry kicks out, but Kincaid adjusts. All submission oh. attempt. I believe that's what beat Anthony Henry, and Perry had to tap out immediately. I'm not sure what the counter is for that move. I'm not sure if there's a counter for that move. I'm not sure if I can even describe what that move is. But Jason Kincaid used it uh, to perfection. Ace Perry, another tough loss on his long road, hopefully in his eyes, back for the title. He's got Dylan Bostic on pay-per-view, but Kincaid, he feels untouchable at this point because Kincaid just beat the man that helped build welterweight wrestling. Can you blame him? Did you see what he just did? And that, that finisher, uh, in my wrestling days, we referred to that as, a, as an unescapable headlock. So to, to work the other arm in and just crank it back like that, I don't. I agree with you. I, I can't think of a, an escape. To I noticed the frustration on Perry. Does not want to handshake. Does not want to celebrate. Perry's got focus on the welterweight title at Dylan Bostic. But congratulations, Jason Kincaid.